Face validity is the extent to which a test or measurement appears to measure what it is supposed to measure, based on a superficial or informal evaluation. Unlike other forms of validity, which require statistical analysis, face validity is determined by whether the test looks appropriate at first glance. It does not guarantee that the test is actually measuring the intended concept accurately, but it helps ensure that it is perceived as relevant and understandable by those taking it. Face validity is often used in education, psychology and research to determine if a test or survey seems appropriate before conducting more rigorous validation methods. Now let's look at some examples of face validity. One example of face validity is a math test designed to assess multiplication skills. If the test includes clear multiplication problems, it has high face validity because it looks like it measures what it claims to. Another example is a job interview questionnaire that asks candidates about teamwork and problem-solving skills. If the questions clearly relate to workplace abilities, the test has strong face validity. However, if a personality test meant to assess leadership asks irrelevant or confusing questions, it may lack face validity, as it does not appear to measure leadership effectively. Now let's explore how face validity can be assessed. Face validity is typically assessed by gathering feedback from experts, test takers, or stakeholders who review the test and determine if it appears to measure the intended concept. One method is to have subject matter experts evaluate whether the questions align with the topic being tested. Another method is to ask participants if they believe the test makes sense and measures what it claims to. Although face validity does not require statistical analysis, it is often the first step in the validation process, helping researchers refine tests before conducting more detailed validity studies. Now let's compare face validity to content validity. While face validity refers to whether a test appears to measure what it is supposed to, content validity is a more in-depth assessment of whether the test fully covers all aspects of the concept being measured. Face validity is based on perception and does not require evidence, while content validity requires careful evaluation to ensure that all relevant areas are included. For example, a vocabulary test may have high face validity if it contains word definitions, but it may lack content validity if it only tests basic words and ignores advanced vocabulary. Content validity is considered stronger because it is based on expert judgment and systematic review rather than first impressions.